OPTM Executive Committee, and I would like to introduce you to the proposed OPTM strategic plan for 2024 through 2027. Every three years, the OPTN Board of Directors adopts a new strategic plan. This plan is utilized to align resources to focus on significant opportunities within the transplant community. Before discussing the plan, I want to share with you our approach. We utilized a similar strategic plan process to what the OPTN has done in the past, with a few modifications to increase opportunities to engage with the transplant community and leverage their insights into the strategic plan draft. Um, so we began this process in June of 2023, when the board met and we engaged in a collaborative brainstorming session focused on possible strategic plan goals. Um, we base these on ideas, themes that were shared during regional meetings in the community and then prioritize them. Um, at the regional meetings, we also broke into small groups and over 2,000 people participated in sharing their ideas and perspectives. The insights we were able to derive from the regional meetings were incredibly helpful for the executive committee to work prioritize and further refine the themes into strategic goals, objectives, and metrics. At this time, the committee has prepared a proposed plan to share and seeks your feedback. And so we really want you to look at this plan. Um, we expect that based on your feedback, we will refine this plan even further. And the board of directors will review the this plan in June, at which time we will take things into consideration and, um, and put the plan into effect. Compared to plans in the past, you will note the focused nature of the proposed goals. Listening to feedback from the community, as well as conversations among the board and committee chairs, we have chosen to focus the OPTN resources on addressing key opportunities within the transplant community by defining goals with increased specificity. These focus goals will provide a framework for allocation of resources in uh, pursuits of key opportunities. The strategic plan is not an exhausted list of the OPTN's work or focus areas. The plan includes flexibility for the board to add or redirect as needed to capitalize on emerging opportunities. In preparation for adaptation of a new strategic plan and in support of the ongoing work of the expeditious task force, there will be a work group focused on refining how the OPTN prioritizes and redirects its resources. The OPTN remains committed to its vision and continuation um, of dedicating um, resources to core activities in alignment with NOTA, the final rule, the OPTN contract, and the OPTN vision. These include our commitment to increasing the number of successful transplants, honoring the selfless gift of life given by organ donors, safeguarding the well-being of patients and living donors, and continuously improving the outcomes of patients on the waiting list, living donors, and transplant recipients. Another intentional choice within the plan is the structure. The plan is built to encourage flexibility, responsiveness, and collaboration. The plan is structured without specific initiatives. Engagement and collaboration with OPTN members, committees, task force, and professional societies within the community will shape the formation and implementation of initiatives. Finally, you will note the resource allocation benchmarks have been removed. The committee chose to allow for flexibility and responsiveness by not predefining allocation rates. Um, the committee anticipates the board or the executive committee on behalf of the board to determine resource allocation through the life of the plan. As you consider the plan, I want you to review the structural components of the draft. 
Um, the introduction, the introduction provides a context to the identity of the OPTN, its members, and the, the commitment that we have to serving our patients. All goals defined within this plan are grounded in a focus of benefiting the patients we serve. Vision. The strategic plan is grounded in the OPTN's vision in alignment with NOTA, the final rule, the OPTN contract. Um, this vision statement includes foundational commitments the OPTN remains dedicated to. When you look at the goals, they are intentional, broad, and ambitious. The goals listed focus on achieving high-level outcomes in pursuit of realizing the OPTN's vision. This plan contains three goals. And then we have objectives, and they add a degree of specificity to the goals, breaking goals into more specific, measurable outcomes. These provide direction and focus on how to achieve the overall goals. The plan contains two or three objectives per goal, and then we have metrics. And the metrics included in the strategic plan are, are geared towards providing actionable insights. The review of these metrics will facilitate informed decision making and inform perspectives on how the plan is progressing. Within the plan are metrics to provide insight to the progression of the overall goals. Considering the themes that we started with in 2023 at the board meeting, the executive committee insights and the committee community feedback shared through regional meetings and through members of the expeditious task force, critically focused goals have emerged. Offer acceptance rates, organ non-use, and efficient op an efficient operation of the OPTN are high, high priorities that um, will ultimately benefit the entire OPTN, the transplant system, and our patients. The co committee proposed these three goals. And so the first one, improve offer acceptance rates um, because we hope that there are increased opportunities for transplants by enhancing offer acceptance, um, optimizing organ use. We want to maximize the use of organs for transplantation for waitlisted patients while maintaining or improving upon past equity gains. And then we want to enhance the OPTN efficiency. Increased efficiency in the OPTN um, will hopefully be obtained through making improvements in the system and looking at innovation. When we look at the improved offer acceptance rate, this goal focuses on transplant candidates and increasing opportunities for transplant through offer acceptance, ensuring we are using organs in the best way possible to benefit patients. To realize this goal, we will focus on education for patients and transplant centers focused on offer acceptance and collaborating with stakeholders within the community to improve offer and acceptance processes. The goals um, that will measure uh, our success include increased offer acceptance rates, the percentage of increased completed learnings, um, the percentage of programs utilizing educational offerings, decrease in time from the first offer to offer acceptance, decrease variation in time from first offer to offer acceptance, and decrease in the number of offer declines. When we look at optimizing organ use, um, this is a really critical issue facing the transplant community today, and one that the committee feels must be prioritized as we work to address non-use, it is imperative that we maintain or improve our previous gains in equity. To realize this goal, we will focus on convening stakeholders to understand and, pro and make progress on key barriers to organ use. We'll promote best practices and strategies and explore alternative allocation strategies. This goal's success will be measured by the decreased percent of organs recovered for transplant 
and not transplanted in the kidney and liver organs. Um, decreased percentage of organs not recovered for a transplant from deceased organ donors in heart and lung. Um, maintaining or improving equity, and we'll look at access to transplant scores. Um, achievement of milestones in identifying and addressing key barriers to organ non-use. Decrease in the variation of risk-adjusted non-use rate by OPO, and decrease high-risk organ non-use rate. And then when we look at enhancing the OPTN efficiency, we, we must operate with an efficient um, OPTN responding to evolving needs of the transplant community. And so this goal will focus on key opportunities to increase efficiency. This can only be done through thoughtful improvement and the convening of stakeholders to consider, consider innovative solutions. To realize this goal, we will focus on refining the policy development and implementation process and enhancing available and actionable data. And so this goal um, will be uh, measured in terms of success by decreasing the policy development time, decreasing policy implementation time, policy alignment with the strategic plan, stakeholder satisfaction in the policy development process, and milestone achievement in data optimization. So what do you think? Um, we really feel that the strategic plan encompasses much of the um, really important needs of the community. And we think that um, your help as the community has helped us throughout this year to develop a solid plan. But we really want your feedback now to make sure we got it right. Um, we ask for your continued engagement and feedback, um, and please consider the plan carefully and share your thoughts with us. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.